How are you, Atiya? Yeah, Alhamdulillah, fine. Okay, uh, introduce yourself. Sir, my name is uh, Atiya Kamwal. I belong to Sahiwal. I have recently completed my MPhil from GC University, Faisalabad. I did my BS from Government Postgraduate College, Sahiwal. That's all about myself. Okay, uh, you are from Sahiwal. What is the old name of Sahiwal? Uh, sir, the old name of Sahiwal is uh, was uh, Montgomery. Okay, how many districts in Sahiwal division? Sir, in Sahiwal division, there are uh, three districts, Sahiwal, Pakpatan and Okara. Okay, uh, what is the old name of Pakpatan? Sir, the old name of Pakpatan was Ajutan. Ajutan, okay. Ajutan or Ajutanpur? Sorry, sir? Ajutan or Ajutanpur? Sir, Ajutan. Okay, uh, why it is famous? Sir, it is uh, famous uh, due to the Hazrat Baba Fi, the uh, Ganj Baksh Darbar. Okay, okay. Define analytical chemistry. Sir, uh, analytical chemistry is uh, concerned with the, uh, the characterization of matter identification of compounds and their quantitative analysis and also their structure and structural elucidation right what is difference between analysis and determination sir analysis is the detailed examination in which we ana analyze or identify or determine something while in determination it is the exact calculation we done Right. Okay. And what is difference between analyte and refinate? Sir, analyte and? Refinate. Sir, analyte is the, uh, our, is our desired sample on which we done analysis. And what is refinate? Uh, sorry, sir. I did not get okay 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 uh, define solvent extraction sir in solvent extraction a solute distribute itself between two immiscible solvents okay uh, what are the necessary steps in analytical process in any analytical process Sir, uh, certain conditions like uh, temperature uh, and uh, environmental no, conditions. No, no, I am I am discussing about the necessary steps. If you want to analyze something, what you will do? What steps sir, you there have are, to follow? What steps you have uh, to follow in the lab, in the analysis? Sir, there are basically four steps. Uh, first of all, uh, we collect the sample. Then uh, uh, we separate the our desired components, uh, and then the analysis is, uh, and uh, results and calculation is uh, done, and finally we draw that uh, that conclusion. Right. Good. Okay. Uh, what are the different types of chromatography? Uh, sir, chromatography on the basis of plane. There are two types of chromatography: planar chromatography and uh, uh, column chromatography. And on the basis of a retention factor, uh, adsorption chromatography and partition chromatography. Okay. Uh, which chromatographic technique is more efficient? Sir, uh, basically it depends on our purpose, for what purpose and for what sample we are using, uh, uh, we, want to we want to analyze. But uh, column chromatography, such as a GCD chromatography, it is uh, right. more efficient. Good. Okay. Uh, how can you increase the efficiency of column in case of column chromatography? Sir, uh, efficiency of the column depends upon the length of the column and the height of the column. Uh, for uh, to increase the efficiency, 
the uh, the height should be decreased and number of players uh, theoretical players should be increased and uh, efficiency can also be calculated by using von der meter equation okay okay uh, if you have different sizes of components what type of chromatography you will use for the separation sir size exclusion chromatography good right okay uh, how size exclusion chromatography works sir size ex ex permeation chromatography and uh, this uh, this uh, mobile phase sir the basic uh, sir it basically depends uh, upon the interactions between the stationary phase and mobile phase we use uh, the uh, stationary phase as a polymer matrix and mobile phase may be liquid or uh, any other compound any other solvent such type of interactions can be seen in other types of chromatography what is the main difference how you can say size exclusion chromatography works what is the basic principle the basic principle by the by analyze the or determine the molecular weight the weight of by the weight of the samples okay uh, what are fundamental vibrations in infrared spectroscopy what do you know about fundamental vibrations uh, there are two types of uh, vibrations uh, bending vibrations फंडामेंटल वाइब्रेशंस क्या होती हैं सर द मूवमेंट ऑफ द टू एंड फ्रॉम मूवमेंट ऑफ द एटम्स हम्म ओके अच्छा व्हाट डू यू नो अबाउट ओवरटोन्स यस सर एनी रेजोनेंट फ्रीक्वेंसी अबव द फंडामेंटल फ्रीक्वेंसी आर कॉल्ड ओवरटोन्स एंड दीस आर ऑब्जर्वड इन द नियर आईआर can you give example in case of uh, ir spectrum mm, sorry sir okay uh, what are chromophores uh, sir chromophores are the absorbing groups present on the molecules which show colors for example uh, unsaturated compounds like uh, no2 and no2 c double bond c and uh, also azodyes and double bond and which have uh, unsaturated uh, bonds okay uh, where we use monochromator before the sample in uv visible spectroscopy but in case of ir spectroscopy we use the monochromator after the sample the ir radiations are the weak energy uh, radiations Uh, and there is no need to use monochromator before the sample because uh, and these are uh, we as these are uh, weaker radiations uh, these uh, do not cause any damage uh, or uh, lysis of the analyte while uh, in case of uh, uv visible uh, these are high energy uh, with, uh, high energy and lower wavelength uh, radiations so we use monochromator before for the sample right okay uh, what type of detectors we use in the uv visible spectroscopy sir photo tube photo multiplier tube uh, and uh, charge coupled device are used uh, in uv detectors which is uh, more uh, which is more uh, efficient detector mostly used in the uv visible spectroscopy uh, sir photo multiplier tube right detector right okay uh, where we add tms in the sample while using nmr sorry sir repeat the question where we add where we add tms in the sample while using nmr sir tms tiles tetramethyl silane it is it is used as a standard in nmr because it is surrounded by magnetically equivalent 12 photons okay and it is highly volatile and easily separate right right good okay uh, what is base peak in ms 
Sir, base peak is the tallest peak which is used as a standard peak to determine the intensities of the other peak. Okay. Uh, what type of what what type of titrations? Sir, there are four types of titrations: acid-based titrations, complexometric titrations, redox titrations, and uh, precipitation titrations. Do you know about precipitation titrations? Uh, yes, sir. In uh, precipitation uh, titrations, uh, we uh, um, uh, we titrate the titrant with the analyte, uh, and the formation of precipitates occur. Okay. Good luck. Uh, now you can go.